<clears throat> Hello, I'm Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is episode three of Freighter Investigator. First thing I have to show you is that I got a new ship. I've been talking about how I wanted to get a freighter and use a freighter as my main ship for this playthrough, and I got one. I need to think of a name for it. Maybe viewers later can help me think of a name for it. it obviously it's not... It's, it was really cheap. It was C, C class freighter with, um, you know, obviously not max slots, but I will upgrade it later as I go along. But it's pretty nice. It's got more room than the starter ship did, so that's good. So I already got um, the freighter finder, as I like to call it. Uh, I got a free one again. Um, I guess it must be Monday that you get a free one, because I bought my, I got my first free freight, free freighter finder on Sunday, and now there was already one ready. So the, it must, it must give you a new one on Monday. Thanks, Romar. Romar says, "Nice ship." All right, time to do the freighter. Pretty sure I'm ready. Got plenty of diorite, dioxite still. And I'm again in a vastly different place than I was last time, so we should have some differences in the logs for this one. There we go. Nice. Ooh, whoa, 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 backwards. <laughs> Almost crashed. Yikes, I did. Yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Calm down. All right. That was a very bad landing there. Okay. I had a surprise today. I'm live streaming a bit late because my sister stopped by unexpectedly with her four kids because she was just in the area and we tried to go to an all-you-can-eat pizza buffet and unfortunately found out that it had closed permanently due to the economic downturn from the pandemic. So we went around trying to figure out a different cheap place that we could eat and ended up just stopping at a grocery store and buying some groceries and came here and we we baked a pre-made pizza in the oven and had pizza at my house for lunch. So it was a lot of fun. She has four little ones. They're age like six months, two years, three years, and well, four years and five years, I think. They're all kind of a year apart, but not exactly a year. So right now they're six months, two years, four years and five years old. So it was pretty, pretty noisy and chaotic at my house, but it was a lot of fun this morning and afternoon. All right, so, oh wow, I already got some nice stuff. Whoa, what the, that had a whole bunch of stuff in it. That was weird. Wow, that gave me a ton of different stuff. That was cool. Alright, I need to go ahead and recharge my life support some. It's a totally different interior. It, it looks like, well, the colors are different. Oh my gosh, this is a totally different style. 
This is kind of like normal freighter interior. Or maybe it's just different color. I'm not sure. Wow, I didn't know they had totally different styles. That's cool. Uh, where's my... Yeah. Let's get rid of this turret. There we go. Wow, it's really cool. It's totally different in here than the other ones. Hmm. Uh, hi, Hero El Primo. Romar says that stinks. We lost our favorite restaurant a month ago. Yeah, it's sad. A lot of places are going out of business around here. Well, not like a crazy amount, but I've noticed some places. Data extracted from medical bay logs. Partial report follows. Date stamp. Technigec Jest. Fluid management. Presented with skin erosion. Recommendation immediate quarantine. Case number 76. Chance of recovery. Chance of recovery 55%. That's the first time I've seen a Gek name. Usually it's Corvax sounding names. Use up the ion batteries, I guess. Wow, I really like it in here. It's, it's different. It's different than the other ones. Ship logging fragments, decrypting, report, junior navigator, sympathy to other life forms high, value of body parts average, diligence average, conclusion, more testing required. Yay, I had a feeling that was going to be the credentials one, excuse me. Oh, I didn't go in here. Guess I'll take the living slime. Hey, Dark Lord Zelric. I'm looking for a freighter that is mix of room types, but I think it seems it either infested or has AI security. Yeah. Yeah, there, there seems to just be two types. Like mainly, well, sometimes there will be one turret at the entrance and then the rest will be biological. But yeah, there seems to be two main types, security or biological uh, rooms, freighters. There's 11 zones in this one, that's an odd number. Hi, funny money. Research log, entry follows. Recovered fleshy worms with automated probe. Performed contextual probe. Observation, DNA swab revealed virulent microorganisms on the surface. Sample quarantine. You know, this update came out soon after we had a pandemic. I wonder if it was inspired at all. Because there's a lot of stuff about quarantining in these, I really wonder if they were inspired by it. Because the pandemic basically started back at the beginning of the year. So they had quite a few months that they could have added in. A lot of this writing is by Greg Buchanan. So Greg Buchanan may have been inspired by the quarantine when he did a lot of this writing. Although I'm guessing the asset creation was probably before the beginning of the year. But it seems like they may have worked it into that. Had a freighter with no enemies besides jellyfish. Cool. Cue ball gaming. Hey y'all, what's up? Hi, cue ball gaming. All 
All right, I think I got everything now. Yep. All right, onward to sector one. Primary crew quarters. I like the crew quarters, they're always cool. Ah, this one does have biological. Neat. So yeah, like I said, there was one turret back there and then the rest is probably biological. Data extracted, partial report follows, date stamp. Drudge Act Engineering. What does that mean? What is Drudge Act? I wonder if that's some kind of typo. Or is that someone's name? Like, because the Viking have like a descriptor at the beginning, like liquidator or warrior at the beginning. So is Drudge like a word? that could describe a Viking, and then his name is Ect. Presented with appalling necrosis. Ew, no treatment possible. Prescribed painkillers. Log shows 31 similar cases this voyage. Oh no. Well, that's bad. Whoa, what the? What attacked me? What the heck? Something shot me. There's no creatures out yet. That was weird. Huh. That would be freaky if there was like some kind of invisible enemy that they added in that would like occasionally attack you and you wouldn't know what it was. That would be freaky. That would be cool. Like you had some kind of stalker enemy that you couldn't see. That was always attacking you from the shadows. But it's probably just some kind of bug. It made me get attacked. Zelric says... If I remember right, there was hint of abandoned freighter parts when Synthesis came out, then it was removed. Oh, I didn't know about I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear about abandoned freighter parts being discovered. Of course, then we got in the living ship update, we got the the normal derelict freighters that didn't do anything that you couldn't land on. Uh, but then later we got this. Arrived in that system. Local Corvax trader offered shares in their deep water mining business. New drilling site moved. Highly successful. Arrived in that system. Learned of chance to invest in a hologram, hologram petting zoo business. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's an idea that people have been suggesting. In fact, I suggested that. I suggested the idea to have hologram pets back when people were asking for pets. That was like ages ago. I, I posted my, that idea on Reddit that I, I didn't think we should have biological pets, that we should have a hologram pets, that you could have, um, basically after you scan creatures, then you'd have a data bank of that and you could create a hologram pet at your base. Oh man, that would be funny if they used that old idea for this log. Investment successful. Losses substantial. Purchase supplies from merchant in the Dovizen. Supplied components were faulty, caused catastrophic fire in the hold. That would be so funny if they <laughs> remembered my old idea that I posted on Reddit. Back, back when Hello Games was asking for ideas on Reddit. Yeah, it was this old thread ages ago, like right after Pathfinder, I think, they did a big suggestions thread that Hello Games had requested they do. I should go ahead and get rid of these guys. One thing I like about VR, it's a lot easier to aim at these things. 
but I'm not going to do VR very much because it's hard for me to read comments. There we go. I think I got them all. Um, hi, Danny Parker. Can't wait to play this update. I'm addicted to Ghost of Tsushima at the moment. Cool. Uh, hi, Liam. Th uh, this is No Man's Sky. Do you recognize it? I know. This looks way different than other No Man's Sky gameplay because we got this new Desolation update. Um... Yeah, it's the Desolation update. <laughs> it looks like a totally different game. It looks like a sci-fi horror game. Plays a lot different than anything we've had before in No Man's Sky. That's what's so awesome is they could create, you know, a new thing that's totally different than what we've had previous in the game. That makes me kind of hopeful that No Man's Sky could could actually become an everything game where they have all kinds of different systems in an infinite universe for just about anybody, you know? Instead of just relaxing exploring on planets, we got now we've got like a horror sci-fi kind of thing with combat. They keep adding new systems like this that use procedural generation. That would be awesome. I th yeah, I, I think I broke a broke a potted plant. I accidentally shot it. Let's see, any more boxes I missed? Here's one. Pretty sure I got this already. Yep. Uh. There's several different ways I could go. Let's go this way first. Hints of something in the abyss from the missions, yeah. The clues of what we are getting next could be interesting as well, yeah. Looking forward to the next weekly mission. Because when, um, when Ariadne returned, they told us about having seen a horrific freighter. So it seems like their plan is whenever an NPC returns, they will tell us about a new feature. Of course, with Ariadne, we had just gotten the freighters added right before it revealed that hint, but I think the writing was originally intended to tease that before we actually got it. But I'm thinking probably if and when Hesperius comes back, they will give us a hint about something that we haven't gotten yet. So, in about three weeks, we'll see if they show up again and if they give us some new info. Nothing that way. Also, we're still waiting on the update to start getting base parts from these freighters. Looking forward to that. Whoa. Okay. 
There's the terminal. <laughs> Surprised I didn't wake up the nest. When I broke that thing. They're always crawling near the other nests, like they're trying to get me to shoot them and let another one loose. I have accidentally shot them before. I wonder if these are actually baby biological horrors, or if they're different species. They look very similar, but they're a different color. So not sure if they're actually the same or something different. Man, oh, I just had a thought. What? Imagine if they added boss battles. Like, imagine if they put a boss in the engineering room at the end. It was like a giant one of these, or a, some other kind of biological horror thing. That would be so cool if they added bosses in. Well, that's a cool setup. Oh, you know what I bet would work really well is grenades. I could just use grenades to blow these guys up right after I wake the nest up. Kinda wish I had grenades installed. Ah, really hard to hit in normal first person. Oh, there's still one out there. so cool that this I hadn't ever seen this setup before with the with the two thingies next to each other looks kind of like an MR, MRI scanner or something there's so many different configurations uh oh yikes ah Go ahead and get rid of all these guys. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. I will after I get done fighting. There's always one that's hiding somewhere and doesn't shoot at me for a while. Okay. Um, well, Ariadne is always linked to labyrinths in some way, so it somewhat makes sense that we got derelict freighters. That's an interesting correlation. Hey, Fabian. Haven't seen you in a while. Or Fabian. I'm trying to remember what way you said to pronounce it. And Hesperus is connected to the Evening Star, but goes by another name of Morning Star. Hmm, interesting. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is still in the game, right? Is it a gas that we can get, or is that something that no longer exists? I think Phosphorus is one of the three main gases that we can farm, isn't it? Or not? Monitoring and maintenance logs accessed. 
Bulkhead failure in crew mess. Sensors presumed faulty. Unusual movement patterns detected in warp monitoring. Crew dispatched. Shadow anomaly in medical bay. Security dispatched. All of these reads like all of these read like notes from horror games. I'm doing good, Fabian. Hot element? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Phosphorus is the hot planet element. It's not a gas. You're right. Man, there's so many nests. I might try to skip some of them, but I don't want them going off when I'm trying to do stuff. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to being able to unlock the base building parts. What the? Oh! Do these things slow you down when you walk through them? Maybe not. It felt like I was having trouble moving there for a second. Maybe there's supposed to be some kind of thing that slows you down. Not sure. Okay, this way's a dead end. I'm gonna go this way. Good. I'm glad you're doing good, Fabian. It's just a uh, thingy in here. Partial cargo manifest follows. Fusion igniter. Unmarked biosecurity crates. Oh no. Enormous metal cog. Recently excavated artifacts. Cool. Ugh. All right. Well, no, I need to I need to do the terminal over there. Records terminal accessed. Crew status as of last shipwide bioscan. Captain's name is Acting Captain Imb. It's just all the crew member names. It's gonna say the captain is Captain is in a redacted area. Captain's always in a redacted area, so he's probably in, like, some kind of safe room, maybe? Trying to protect himself instead of going down with the ship, I guess. Um, yeah. So we got that. Uh-oh. Darn it. I set them loose. Oh, it fell off. That's funny. Their climbing doesn't seem to be perfect. Sometimes they fall off the wall. This is pretty funny. Oh, 
Oh no, did I just let another one out? Ah, dang it. Yeesh. I'm gonna end up setting them all off, I'm sure. small room. Just go ahead and get all the nests out of the way. Yeah, I really do think they're programmed to climb on the nests when they can to try and trick you into shooting them. It's a nice trick. behind me. Alright, done with those. I was trying to look into the mythology of the travelers of the Nexus and see how much is linked. Fabian says, this feels like a Halo game and you're shooting the flood, yeah. Something like that, like those kind of games. Partial crew equipment records. Shift Gek G Gelo. I'm not gonna try to say that. Fluid management. Personal lockers contains hyperspace field monitor, unmarked pills, annotated maps, and collection of preserved larvae. Last access four days ago. Detailed scan reveals contents are coated in acidic residue. And this one. Ship AI log, fragment, decrypting. Automated report for free GEC AC cost. Oxygen use extremely low. Perception levels high. Relative movement levels below average. Conclusion, jettison when necessary. Okie dokie. Wait a second. Let's scan. Make sure I got everything. Okay. Ooh. Lots of small rooms now. I like it when they get stuck. They seem to get stuck on those tro uh, rectangles on the walls pretty easily. And this one's stuck behind a cabinet. Yep, got them all. Captain's Eyes Only. Pre-flight crew appraisal. Name, shift gift, kinti. Specialism, genetics. Intelligence 40%, Subtlety 24%, Empathy 54%, Company Approval Rating 17%, Predicted Remaining Lifespans 37.7 years, Addendum, 
Captain's personal notes. Preaching odd messages to the rest of the crew. Must intervene, but without upsetting those converted. Oh my goodness. That was interesting. Let's just see what happened if I spun that. I love this. I love exploring all these different freighters. Alright, down we go. How am, I, how am I doing on inventory? Got plenty of room. Central Laboratory. Cool. I guess if they made more hazards besides cold, they would have to come up with something besides heating units. Heating units wouldn't make sense for radiation and stuff. They'd have to have some kind of shielding unit, I guess. Private mainframe access denied. Captain's DNA. Yep. Um, we'll just say that he's... Location is unknown. Then I use the credentials. Credentials accepted. Welcome, temporary officer. Log will record you as temporary commander. Last significant entry from acting Captain M follows. Okay, now there's... Hopefully we'll get something unique with this. Trade commuter, computer insists we allow Korvac's friend to stay on board. In my own boardroom, as if it were Gek. Efficient, it says. Will secure trade deal. I still have m such quotas to be met. Ah, the worries. Korvac's friend is only wasted time and expense compared with these. Their store, it, their strange food, their fussy insistences, such a drain. We dined together in my quarters again last night. I prefer Korvac's friend more and more. They are unlike other Corvax. They have much interesting things to tell me. Date stamp. Machine friend is correct. We must be free of our flesh to reach our potential. Metal and light. Holy metal and holy light. It will free me. Free all Gek. I wonder if this is the creation of a synthetic Gek. Is this a Corvax replacing a Gek with a synthetic Gek? I wonder... Rare item found. Cool. So yep, another unique and interesting log there. Alright, let's clear this out, I guess. Let me know if you ever get tired of me reading all of these. I know some of them aren't that interesting. Yeah, lots of items. Oh, and that's it. There's just a list of items. Something about one of them being opened already. Mm. There's not really all that much in this room. Might try to sneak through, because it's not really worth killing all the nests when there's hardly anything to get anyway. Thanks, Trevor. The helmet that are floating about make you think there were anomaly races on board. True. I mean, you never see 
any of the other races with their helmets on. So you would think Gek and Viking would need to wear helmets at some point, but they never do. So I don't know if it's supposedly a helmet for one of them or what. That could be travelers, I guess. Partial cargo, cargo manifest follows. Dihydrogen jelly, mucus, nanotube, miscellaneous bones. Yep. Yeah, like I said, not too much in this room. Pretty sure I read that log. Okay, let's go through this dead end. Okay, should be good. Oh, next room should be the last one. Yep. That's all the rooms. No jellyfish this time. Partial cargo manifest follows. There's lots of these lists. Probably because it's a GEC system. There's a lot of lists of items they're carrying. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Research log entry. Recovered anomalous material from the moon. Performed reactivity test, observation, re Redacted on captain's orders. it we got everything let's finish this up engineering control panel accessed generator <clears throat> generator failure detected okay and we'll take a fabricator as usual or bulkhead deployable bulkhead initiated there we go cool All right, and we are all done. Let's go. This guy usually seems to... This was a Viking system. 
But the freighter stuff was all about Gex. That's interesting. Guess it doesn't have to do with the system that you're in. It's more about um, just the star cluster determines the whole freighter storyline. Yep, cell crew manifest. <laughs> what coward of a captain dies before their ship is destroyed? Graw, worthless words. But perhaps some value might be ex extracted. A trade interloper. And sell it again. For more nanites. Nice. Right, let's sell all the stuff I got. Except for the bulkhead, of course. See how much more money I make. This was a free one, so... Not really needing to recoup my money. Probably should have... Uh, probably should have kept the Geknip and... Planted it or something, but... Oh, well. Cool. Made about a million from the loot I sold. Go put I'm gonna go put my bulkhead in the freighter. I wonder what I should save my money for next, because I got my uh hauler ship. I might start buying up um well, I really want to save for a, a different freighter so I can start upgrading it. I think that's what I'll do next. I'll start saving my money for for a different freighter. That's the kind of freighter I want, but that's not a buyable one. Ooh, maybe they do have a, bu a buyable version though. No, I don't I don't see any freighters that you can buy in this group. Just frigates. Oh well. Wait a second. Oh, this is a I thought this was my freighter. This is a viable freighter. Nice. Probably can't afford it. But I'm going to go check how much... Because this is the type of freighter I would like. I'm going to see how much it costs. Probably a lot more than I have. Offer to buy freighter. Whoa! Sweet! I could get it for free if I exchange it. Nice, and this is this is the look of the kind of freighter I want. So I think I will take it. I'm gonna move everything over. Hopefully, oh no. I'm not gonna be able to fit everything. Darn it. Okay, well, those things are easy to make, so I'll just leave them. And yeah, I want to go ahead and buy this freighter and start upgrading it. Yeah. Yeah. I got 
pretty much everything I wanted. Yay, I got a new freighter, and it looks cool. It's got the cool thing on the front of it. Yay. So this will be my freighter. I'm going to start upgrading it with the bulkheads. Oh, thought I could see what it looked like there. So here's my new freighter. This is the kind of freighter I wanted to get with the cool looking thing on the front of it. Nice. Now, of course, I'll be changing the color and stuff once I... How do you get the colors? I thought getting colors was from doing derelict freighters. But... I don't know. Well, let's use up... Let's use my bulkheads on it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this kind. What? I'm not exchanging ships. Why is it saying that? Okay, I think I better save before I do this. I don't know why it's saying something weird like that. Because I think, I think my game got saved when I bought it, but... Just to be safe. Okay, let's take out the stuff in the freighter that I want. Oop. Purchase upgrades in that menu and R1. Okay, I'll try that. So, like, you purchase color upgrades? What do they cost? I guess I'll find out in a second. Ooh, 5,000 nanites for a color? Yeesh, that's pricey. Good thing you don't buy nanites with real world money or people would be really mad about that. That'd be like, probably five bucks for a color if there was an exchange rate. Yeah, you will buy color and it's shade of that color. Cool. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and expand the inventory. Still doing this weird transfer items thing. That's a bug. Uh oh. No, I've got one left. Okay, cool. Yay, freighter inventory increased. So yeah, this is gonna be my... F Wait, can we upgrade the class of, of a freighter? I don't think we can, darn, I didn't realize that. We can't increase the class. We can increase the space, but not the class. That's no good. Okay, here's color. Oh, cool. So it's 5,000 for a whole bunch of different colors. I get it. That's nice. Yeah, hopefully they'll make us able to increase the class of the freighter eventually. I see. So I already have that, I guess. And I would need 5,000 nanites to buy a bunch of different shades in that type. Cool. Let's see. And then to change your color, you do this. 
cool. So yeah, there's like, yeah, there's a couple different shades of red. So, oh, basically two. So you're bas so it's 5,000 nanites for two colors, basically. Light red and the darker red, I think. And then you, you can, so if I bought red, I would get all of these for all these different spots on the freighter. That's cool. But I need my nanites for other stuff for now, but I'll do that later. So there's where you warp, and that's where you see your frigate fleet. Cool. So I already got the type of freighter I wanted for free. And honestly, I don't care about class that much, because that just increases the... Oh, actually, it also... We have a bunch of different stats now. Hyperdrive range, warp efficiency, storage space, and fleet coordination. So you do want a better class to help coordinate your frigate fleet, but hopefully they'll let us increase the class someday. But for now, I'm, I'm gonna stick with this freighter and max out its inventory space. All right, one more thing I wanna do is go check out my Indian mine. Indium mine. So now that I've got the freighter I want, I think I will start buying up frigates soon. That'll be the next thing I'll buy. And then I can start doing frigate missions to make even more money. Yeah, first colors I'll be purchasing are blue and purple, because those are my channel colors. I want Indium Mine. If you can manage your frigate well, you really don't have to worry about fleet coordination. Yeah, I figured. Unless it gives you more loot, it's not really that important. Because I've, I've never had much trouble about succeeding most it's really easy to get missions to succeed so that doesn't really matter all that matters is maybe decreasing the amount of time it takes for a mission to get done oh maybe also decreasing fuel cost and maybe get better loot but success rate is not important so if it just helped success rate it'd be pretty much pointless but if it can help those other things, decrease fuel cost, um, shorten mission time, and give better loot, that would be good. But if it just increases success rate, then it's pointless. Yeah, it's, uh, it, Dark Lord says it's it's mostly success, and that's that's pretty pointless because unless they made it much more likely for you to fail. I've never had much trouble succeeding with missions. Dang it, power's out again. I need a better way, better source of power for this, but there's no magnetic things nearby. And I've tried making a really long distance power connection, that's not possible. But I've got a bunch of this. Only problem is now I'm stuck here until daytime. Well, the sun's supposed to be coming up soon. But anyway, I think I'll end this episode here. We did another cool dungeon with some cool new lore. And I got to show you my new ship, and I bought a new freighter. And I'll start saving up my money to get frigates. So anyway, I've been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.